Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and today we're gonna have a one year review on my Celine Triumph wallet on chain. It is this one and I feel like the name has actually changed since I purchased this. So there is some kind of Margot now in it. Is it Celine Margot Triumph or, or something like that? But when I bought this, it was Triumph wallet on chain. So that's probably what I will refer to it. I have now owned this for more than a year though. So it is actually like one year plus review. But I thought that I would make this video because when I was in the hunt for my own Triumph bag, I watched so many videos of the bigger sizes and uh, quite many of them actually showed quite a lot of wear or at least the person who owned them shared that they are quite delicate leather and they need to be babied and all of that so of course i was a bit cautious getting this even though this would not be my everyday bag of like how would it actually wear is it so sensitive and delicate that even touching this would create some kind of uh sign of wear to it and so on uh, so I thought I would make this video to show you what this looks like after a year and also what I think about it is Triumph going out of style and uh, and so on this is in fact a wallet on chain here is the chain strap and uh, if you have seen my other videos of this bag then you will know that I have purchased a non-branded strap uh, for this to wear this as like leather black on black that's the look i prefer and um the unfortunate thing is that i purchased this from etsy the etsy store does not exist anymore so i can't link this anywhere but i'm fairly confident that looking from etsy or amazon with different straps you will find a one that suits this one but i just wanted to put it out here first because this is not having a chain strap but it does come with a strange chain strap and I did once receive a question when I showed this bag with this strap that it comes with two straps or something. No, it doesn't. It comes only with the chain, but currently I am using it with the, the leather one. And maybe that is the first part of it that I prefer this look over the chain. I feel like the chain makes this very formal looking, whereas this reminds more of the like bigger sizes of the bag that have a leather strap and that's the look I prefer in general. Um, I went for the this size I feel like purely because of the price point. This when I bought this was something around 1250 ish. Now it is more expensive but at that point I felt that that was a great price for the bag considering it wouldn't be my everyday bag when the bigger ones, the teen was like 3000 and so on. So I felt like this had a much better price point compared to the bigger sizes for the functionality I wanted it because I loved the look, but I just felt really bad paying 3000 euros plus for the look. So that's why I went with this size. And um, I've had no issues with the size. I have used this as mentioned, not as an everyday bag, but quite a lot because I love how this looks. The black on the gold is just amazing. It fits what I need. My phone, card holder, key pouch, AirPods, lipstick or lip balm or something. That's it. That fits like enough for me. Inside there would be card slots. I don't really use them. So um, that's just something I don't I don't need, but this fits a separate card holder and that's good enough for me. Now, hard to say exactly like how much I have worn this, but compared to like the bags that I own, I do reach for this quite often, uh, but more on my like free time. So weekends, vacations, special occasions, evenings and so on. So my everyday bag, this is not. And uh, maybe then if this would be an everyday bag, it would look a bit different from the leather wise. But so far, so good, actually. I'll step in a bit closer. So maybe you can see how the bag has worn. So there are no, no feet. This is the back side. Hopefully you can actually see that there is pretty much 
no signs of wear on this except for the flap has some kind of lining which i think comes when using the flap band how it's kind of uh, curves over here so this part presses on here and then this is what it looks like from the inside Hopefully that looked okay, or then otherwise there will be a separate uh, video going on over there. But I have to say the leather on this one, I mean, probably would be delicate if I would take my ring and like scratch it or if it would like rub on some, I don't know, stone or gravel or something. But with a normal use, I mean, I have had buttons on my jackets where this has been like laying on. And uh, there is no nowhere anywhere. Like there are no scratches, none that I can see at least, or or anything else really. It looks, I would say, almost the same as when I got it over a year ago. Um, and then inside there is this one line that comes from this flap rubbing against that leather, which I feel like I can't really avoid, and it doesn't bother me. I am pleasantly surprised of the condition this is compared to the bigger sizes that I've at least seen. And probably the leather is a bit different uh, with the wallet on chain versions compared to the bigger sizes. Hard to say because I have only this one, but I have not babied this. I don't baby my bag. I don't want to own bags that I would need to baby somehow. I don't mind small signs of wear. For me, they are signs that the bag has been used. <laughs> so I don't mind. I wouldn't mind if there would be a small scratch somewhere on here, but there isn't. And I am actually quite impressed that there isn't. Also very <laughs> delighted about it, but at least from like quality wise, I feel like this is amazing. Like there is nothing bad to say about the quality of this uh, wallet on chain size at least. So we've now gone through the wear and tear, the fact that I have used it quite a lot. Maybe the next thing would be would I buy this again uh, or in somehow <laughs> recommend it and I feel like the answer is yes and no. I definitely feel like this is worth the money even with the price increases that it has had. So this is just, it, it, sh it gives the look that I was after and that I am after. So yes, I definitely would buy this again. But honestly though, because this is a wok size, uh, that kind of makes it not an everyday bag for me. But I would want to wear this a bit more. So my mind has been considering actually kind of uh, exchanging this one to maybe the teen size. And by exchanging, I mean selling this, putting some more money and buying <laughs> the teen size. Not so that I could go to the boutique and exchange this to anything. Uh, so yeah, my mind has been like playing these type of thoughts that I would want to wear this more. And if it would be bigger, then I probably could wear this more often. And maybe then would it would become my everyday bag and then it would show a lot more wear I don't know, <laughs> but I've been so pleased on like how this wears, how this looks, just in general, the, it's not like subtle bag in a way that it has this beautiful clasp in it, but it is a subtle bag enough because everyone doesn't recognize the clasp. It just gives this a beautiful, elegant look in my opinion, especially with this color combo. Um, so it just, it would work as an everyday bag as well in my opinion but i don't know i just i still feel that because now the prices have gone up in those bigger sizes as well now i would need to put like 3200 400 something like that um so i don't really know if that's what i want to do but that has been a thought that's been going around in my mind and uh, i don't really like that thought because that would mean i would need to put in more money when i already have this but well, that's just honest thought that uh, I would wear this a lot more if this would be bigger. I would want to wear this a lot more, but sometimes I just need more stuff with me than those like purely essentials. So I can't wear this more. So dilemma, because still the bigger sizes are fairly expensive 
in my opinion, and not sure if I want to put that money in. So yes and no, I would buy this again <laughs> for different reasons, but I'm just so happy that I have this. I I still really love that Triumph look. And even if I'm dreaming of owning this in a bigger size, I'm also dreaming about owning more Triumph bags in different colors. That's how like obsessed I am currently with, with this and with Celine in general. It's just crazy why the prices have also gone up with Celine, like why? <laughs> And uh, even though Celine doesn't tend to hold its value in the pre-owned market either, currently the, the Triumph line is so popular that there are no good deals there anyway. So it would kind of be boutique or then just keep, keep up with this. But I don't want to do anything rash. So for now, I'm just going to enjoy this and wear it as much as I can. All right. Do you have the same wallet on chain? or what kind of what what are your thoughts about it let's continue in the comments down below thank you for watching see you in my next video bye